Hello everybody, this is Jesse from Napco Tech Support. And in this video, we're going to go over how to set up your Starlink Fire Radio to use input reporting. This will be used on systems that do not have a DAC. And you're going to use relays to trip to force supervised inputs on the radio. When we're doing input reporting, the first place we're going to want to go is the inputs and outputs tab. And if it says, please upload the radio before download on a new radio, what we want to do is upload the default configuration for the input, what you're in the radio, into the NOx so everything shows the same. So we're just going to click on upload and we'll see an upload pending. And then it's going to upload the correct type for the for the input. They always going to want to say supervision fire along the bottom choice for or four of the supervised inputs. And by default, input two is trouble. Three is alarm Four is supervisory. Five is waterfall by default. We could always change a reporting code if we needed to. For example, if we weren't going to have a separate water flow fire alarm sent in, but we might need a carbon monoxide signal, we could always change the reporting code. So once we have the inputs uploaded into the radio, we're going to go back to general and we must dealer enter in our phone number or our IP address. Then we're going to set our polling time. Now, this step is important, whether we're doing a phone number or we're entering in, in an IP address. We're going to want to press this clipboard button. This is going to allow the inputs to send to central station. So if you're doing input reporting and you're not getting signals, go back and hit this tab. Because otherwise, when you're in the NOx signal log, you'll see all nines where either your phone number or the IP address should be. Once we're done, we're going to hit save and it's going to send the change to the radio. While we're downloading, this is the nines number that will not go to central station it will stay at the knock unless that clipboard button is pressed now that our changes are downloaded we can go to the cs test timer which is the last step again press edit manage radio test timer it will automatically fill in something in the permitted time range and set your interval to whatever you need and press save now, just to review, we went over how to set up your Starlink Fire Radio for input reporting. And as always, for more information, you can visit us on the web at tech.napcosecurity.com. Thank you all for watching.